Hello everyone, Nikita here. In this presentation, I am going to discuss Fischer-Hepp reaction. Fischer-Hepp reaction is a rearrangement reaction in which n nitroso aromatic amines converts into carbon nitroso aromatic any amines. So here HCl acts as a catalyst when we use the n nitroso aromatic amines in presence of HCl the nitroso group migrates from nitrogen to the para position with respect to NH group so we will get the para nitroso n alkyl anilines as a product now coming to the mechanism here we have taken the n nitroso aromatic amines or we can say n nitroso anilines in presence of HCl the hydrogen ion will go to the uh, to the attack on the nitrogen's lone pair and it will convert into quaternary center so Cl negative ion will attack on the this nitroso group and it will break the nitrogen nitrogen bond so here we will we'll get the aniline and nitrosyl chloride will release because of the uh, charge density's rotation nitrogen will, nitrogen's lone pair will migrate into the ring so the para positions carbon can attack on the nitrosyl nitrogen or nitrosyl chloride so here this bond will at, attack on this nitrogen and this bond will migrate so at the para position we'll get the n nocl where the oxygen has a negative charge so we can say to generate the aromaticity in Inside the ring, this para positions hydrogen will eliminate from here and it will give its electron pair to the ring. So again, we'll get the ring structure back and this hydrogen simultaneously will go to the oxygen anion. So here the OH will generate. In the next step, the, from here the HCl will eliminate and we'll get the nitroso group at, at the para position because the HCl is eliminated and amines are basic, so it will give the hydrochloride salt of aniline by the work of we can get the para nitroso anilines now coming to some examples where we have where we have changed the L, uh, r group with the propyl group so this is n nitroso n propyl benzamine in presence of hydrochloric acid this h plus ion will goes to the nitrogen and in the next step cl will attack to the nitro group so tyndall reagent will re, uh, release from this reaction with so that will attack on this para position so we will get the para nitroso n propyl benzamine as a product if we are taking as a diphenylamine and we are treating them with the nano2 in presence of acidic media so that will that will create the and nitroso diphenylamine this will the nitroso group will goes to the uh, nitrogen so we will get the n nitroso diphenylamine now this will be attacked with the acidic media hydrochloric acid so this group will migrate to the para position we will get the para nitroso phenyl benzamine If we are taking the naphthalene system and naphthalene amines are substituted by the nitroso group these are the naphthalene amines and we are taking them as a nit uh, naphthalene amines are substituted by the nitro group nitroso group in presence of a HCl media acidic media the nitroso group will migrate and gives the para nitroso aromatic amines so here this nitro group will migrate to this para position and will get the para nitroso naphthalene amine but if the para position is occupied just like in this case if the para position is occupied with respect to the amine group then the reno group will migrate to the auto position so if the case is just like this where the n nitroso aromatic amines are treated with the hydrochloric acid then this nitro group cannot migrate to the para position so it will go to the auto position so we will get this product Thank you.